Hi, and welcome back to Vex Productions. Today, school did suck in case you're wondering, but I'm still doing my Thursday upload as I just want to upload and I had time to make content. A very small window, that is. I'm working very hard to edit and get out the MCC video so you can watch it live on Sunday. Get ready for that, by the way. It'll be awesome. But I won't go into that death and destruction. Today, all you need to know is I built Chaos Agents Bunker in Fortnite Creative. Now, if you're wondering what the heck a chaos agent is, it's basically just a creepy black guy in a suit that does experiments. Uh, so, yep, that's your summarization. Enjoy. So, because I had this in the thumbnail, I had to make the bunker. It was very quick, and it was very scuffed, but I just don't have time to make it. So, I made it very quickly, and I think it turned out pretty good. Doesn't really look like a mountain, though. So I started building the entrance to where the bunker would be, you know, if you like open the mountain bunker doors, you'd find it. found a couple of good roof props from, uh, I think it was the racetrack gallery, so it worked really well, and it matched the mountain bunker as well, so yeah. Once that was complete, I started building off the tunnels where the main like hub area would be, if you know what I mean. Because, obviously, Chaos Agent runs Alter, and Ego had a base, which was, like, the, um, I think it was the backdrop for, like, Season 1, and it had, like, all the spy tech and everything, so I wanted Alter to have one, and I built it. As this was Chaos Agent's bunker, and I wanted it to fit the theme, I decided to put a giant hole in the middle with tubes running down that would be, like, the energy source or something of the, um, Chaos Agent's bunker, and after that, I decided the walls should be kind of tilted to give that, like, creepy, you know, aban- Well, not really abandoned, is used, but, um, like, creepy, crazy scientist-looking uh, bunker thing. Um, so I put in some military gallery walls and then started putting in some sideways Dusty Depot walls. And I think that really gave it the um, creepy vibe I was looking for. I then gave it a giant roof using build to prop off and grid snap 16. Then after that, I decided there should be two entrances on either side. And I think it would just give it that creepy altar kind of vibe. Also, it would fit for the base aspect I was looking for. Also, it's what I had in my head for quite a while. I've been wanting to do this build for quite a while. I just never got around to it. And this was not exactly the right time to do it, but hey, here I am. So, yeah. I had sight on two entrances, and I put it there. I then moved on and put, like, the power source area and put the tubes running down to connect to the power source water. Then I made the hole and put some rails around it to make it, you know, just give that cool hub-looking vibe for Alter, and I think it turned out pretty good. After that, the main stage of the bunker was pretty much complete, so it was time to move on to the main part of it, which was Chaos Agent's room. So I decided I wanted it to be in the center door area over there, and I made a creepy looking hallway off to it. And I really wanted to give this like portal kind of vibe. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll explain. Um, so like if you enter GLaDOS's room, but you're like right before it, you can see like, you know, because portal kind of has like blocks put together within this giant hole in the earth. Um, I kind of wanted to give off that vibe because you can see all the machinery that like connects up to GLaDOS's room and everything and it's it's really ominous and really creepy and I thought it would work perfect for this sort of thing. So I tried to recreate it and I think it turned out pretty good but um, I tried putting in lights as I wanted it to look like, you know, a bunker um, and putting in LED lights. But that didn't exactly work because the agency water is very reflective. Um, and it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, but I still think it looked really good. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you a montage of me building it now. And I started working on the actual chaos agent room area and uh, I moved on from the hallway thought it looked pretty good so I decided to move on and I really wanted um if you know in like the season 5 Fortnite trailer they had like the wires connecting up to that like giant circle that 
like contain the bridge to go to the loop. Um, you probably understood nothing what I just said there, but if you did, um, there I really wanted that um, to be in this area of the map as you know, like Chaos Agent and uh, Agent Jonesy are kind of like alternate of each other, and they're like you know co competing in against each other. Um, so I really wanted it to have that um, same kind of technology, just to let you know, like, hey, this is from the Fortnite universe. Um, and so I did that, and I also put in the transparent area, which was in the Season 5 trailer as well. And I think it turned out pretty good. Okay, so after I put in the transparent layer and area, started putting these super cool, like, uh, caution tubes, which I think would fit the Chaos Agent vibe perfectly. And then I attached the wires to the circle in the middle, just like the Season 5 trailer. And I put the, like, uh, what do you call it, operation table thingy um, on the bar that would, like, you know, extend out and extend back. And then put a bunch of tubes on it to, like, you know, signify that this is Chaos Agent's domain. And um, he's, like, working on a science experiment on a human or something. Y you know what I mean. You'll see. I then put a red light from the haunted galleries down. I think it really gave the chaos agent vibe after that. Like, I just started placing tubes everywhere, and it just immediately clicked. To anyone that knows who chaos agent is, they would know that, like, this is 100% his domain. Almost looks like something straight out of Star Wars, uh, but no, it's chaos agent's bunker, and I'm very proud of it, too. I then put this little puppet mega mall prop thing in. Um, and I think it honestly made it look more like a horror movie, um, which I loved because that's kind of what the chaos agent aspect is, but I absolutely loved how this room turned out. And, uh, I've also done chaos agent builds before, so I had some experience. I just, it was on my switch and before. Then it was just putting in a couple more details. out pretty well but i would like to apologize for something usually in these type of builds i do a really cool like monologue where this evil character is walking around and i always have the skin for what i build so i always like record it with my switch and walk around doing like what that character would do and have super cool like music that fits the vibe in the background and it's all in all just a really good way to show off and finalize the build but this time i just do not have time for that and i really apologize but i don't um the mcc is taking up everything i'm doing right now because i have to get home from school and then immediately start editing um because there's a lot in that vid and it's taking so long and i just want to be so good for our very first time so i appreciate um you guys understanding but this time i won't be able to do one of those um so i apologize but the mcc vid is going to be really cool so just wait for that and i appreciate it thank you and i'm sorry so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you live on sunday watching the mcc see ya
doing my Thursday upload as I just want to upload and I had time to make content. A very small window that is. I'm working very hard to edit and get out the MCC video so you can watch it live on Sunday. Get ready for that by the way. It'll be awesome.